Hello, Cancer. Welcome to Channel Rockeritaville. I'm Al Rock, your hostess, and we are here to do your timeless, intuitive, general energy reading for the week ahead for the sun, moon, and rising sign of Cancer. As always, this is a general reading, so if the story that I pull out today isn't resonating with you, you might check your moon and rising sign on the channel. There could be something there for you, and also potentially your other placements as well. And then finally, I want to thank my new and returning subscribers and all of you popping by Rockeritaville just to check it out. Thank you so much for being here. Your likes, your shares, your subscribes, all of that helps the channel grow. So thank you for being the best part of Rockeritaville. So with all of that said, let's find out what the overarching energy is in the week ahead for my beautiful Cancers. Hi, Cancer. Most influential energy for the week ahead for cancer, please. So Cancer, we're doing a mixed deck. It's the mixed herbiary and bestiary, which is plant and animal energy. So we're starting with that deck. Most influential energy, please, for the week ahead for Cancer. There's one. All right, let's see what that is. Mm, comfrey, what needs mending? She's been coming out a lot for people um, in the last few weeks. We're still in the coronavirus cycle and, um, you know, lots of things are, well, life's just different now, right? And um, with that, there's something here that needs mending in your life. Now, the medicine of comfrey talks about the fact that this plant comes in only when it's needed and it can't stay when it's not. So... This could be the energy of a person coming in your life is just kind of a maybe an earth angel swooping in, swooping out. Um, and whatever it is, comfrey, um, that whatever comfrey is here to help mend for you, whether that be, you know, a rupture in a relationship or maybe a misunderstanding in a friendship or something at work that's happened, anything like that. Um, comfrey heals quickly. So whatever needs mended, it will be repaired in, in, a, in a quick time period, right? Um, so let's find out more about this for you, Cancer. Tell me more about the influential energies for Cancer in the week ahead, please. There's one. this come out for recently was it oh, who was it I can't remember it was one of the last most recent readings I did one of the last two or three um red salmon navigate life with determination it might have been Scorpio maybe this is a water sign thing um anyway salmon red salmon is here because you are on the path back to something important to you now, um, this could be a childhood dream that you are now manifesting into reality. Um, it could be a project that you're working on. But whatever it is, there's determination and a greater will at work here. And um, so, and then I also really get this Aurora Borealis or the, these lights here. Um, that something is leading the way, something greater than you. This is a magnetic pull. This is, you know, a journey down a secret path that nobody can understand but you, Cancer. So, um, in the week ahead, you're navigating with determination. Crossing over the dams, dodging the bears that are hunting the salmon, right? The eagles. All of those are things on the salmon's path back home to, you know to where it lays its eggs, right? It's, it starts in a river and then it becomes an ocean animal and then it returns home. 
And um, all of that is done from something internal, right? It comes from a deeper place that that's just part of the nature of the animal. So whatever this is, this determination, you're being driven from a deeper place. Tell me more about the influential energies for cancer in the week ahead, please. There we go. Integration. Mullen. Is that Mullen? Oh, okay, so we've got two more. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have the spring peeper which is embrace your next becoming, which really makes sense why Red Salmon is here because when you are, you know, making your first hops from tadpole and becoming an out of the water animal, right? Um, it becomes a little bit unsteady, right? So um, we also have here Mullen integration and California Poppy with resurrection. So what? It, so I feel like California poppies here in support of Comfrey, that there's something um, from the past that is resurrecting for you, Cancer. Um, maybe you've recently been, um, you know, laid off from your furloughed from your job, perhaps, and you're being called back, or and this is mending your financial situation, something of that nature. But whatever it is. Um, this resurrection also comes with the medicine of comfrey, which is that 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 quick healing, that quick mending. Now, um, the medicine of Mullen is um, making those connections between disparate things. Um, so, for example, how is how is the moon and a ship connected? Right. Well, they're not really, but the water is right. The tides that the moon pulls. If you're docking in a harbor that gets shallow, then you're going to have to wait for the next tide to come in before you launch your ship. So whatever it is, it's integration. It's integrating the head and the heart. It's integrating, you know, the idea of the acorn becoming the oak, the process that the butterfly goes through from caterpillar all of that is happening in the week ahead. All of that integration is part of Salmon's determination to return to its place of origin. Now, this doesn't mean necessarily returning home or something like that, but to that home within your heart, Cancer, that home within your higher self, that home that is your soul's calling. And all of that is becoming integrated through this resurrection so you're resurrecting something from the past as part of your next um, cycle. So beautiful. Let's find out more about this. Why is Comfrey here? Tell me more about Comfrey, please. Clarify Comfrey. Clarify Comfrey, please. It needs mending for cancer in the week ahead. Meditation, the hermit. All right. <clears throat> so we have the two of discs in reverse. So cancer, that's interesting because that's that's stasis, that's a stoppage, right? That's that's change that wants to come in that's not there yet, or potentially you've put a pause on it. Now, um, with what needs mending, a hermit came out. So hermit is a major arcana. This is about spending time in meditation going within. Um, so maybe you aren't entirely sure what needs mending. 
maybe this is a deeper look within and in terms of looking within perhaps it's also another person's perspective that you're being asked to look through so um yeah let's find out i think i'd like one more card about that tell me more about comfrey actually tell me more about the two of discs why is stasis here Two of Discs is Capricorn energy. Got lots of Earth energy here with the Hermit, Virgo. There we go. Okay. So the stasis that you're in with this two, um, maybe part of what needs mending is you're spending a little bit too much time in Hermit stage because we have the Four of Swords here um, in the upright, not in the reverse. Um, in the reverse, that would also um, bring a greater level of stasis or disquiet. Um, but <clears throat> um, we also have the closing of the cycle with the Ten of Wands, the resolve. So you might just need to be, it looks like maybe you're just needing to be in a state of rest, Cancer, um, with the closeout of this passionate cycle, whatever it is for you. It's, it's you know the burning out of the old version of yourself and releasing yourself from that cage. And that takes time in meditation and contemplation to understand what it is that you are becoming, right? Your next becoming. So you have to understand cancer, what it is that you're going to bring forward with you and what it is that you're leaving behind. And by going into quietude with the four of swords and spending time in the mind space examining these things, Comfrey's here to heal those things that might prevent you from moving forward in your highest good. Um, so, yeah, definitely you're going to be, there's a lot of time in quiet in the week ahead. Can you see all the cards? Nope. How about now? Yes. Uh-oh. Okay. So tell me more about Red Salmon, please. Red Salmon for Cancer for the week ahead. So just remember when you are in meditation um, to not over-meditate, meaning isolate. Okay, so we've got the four. So navigate life with determination. We had um, the two of wands come out, which is that Genesis moment. It's the idea. And then we have the four of wands in reverse, which indicates a failure. And so whatever this determination is, um, if there's something that has a pause on it and you're trying to push it forward before it's ready to be pushed forward, that could be part of why this two of um, sorry, this two of pentacles is here in reverse. To get this into the upright position, you begin to alchemize all of that energy, all of the projects. You're bringing pieces of the puzzle together into change um, versus leaving them on the table unattended, which brings stasis. And so, um, you know, to be able to put this four of wands in the upright position, which is that success, because here we've got um, abundance, the three of cups at the bottom of the deck celebration. So um, what's interesting about about this is there might be a couple stories here. So you're you're navigating with determination with Sam and you're following something greater inside yourself. Right. This is a polling. This is a calling for you. And um, you've made your choice with the two of wands. Um, and, you know, it comes with some energy behind it, right? It's It might not be in alignment with other people's opinions about it. But really, unless you're talking to experts, other people's opinions are only their opinions, Cancer. Um, really, you know, I mean, if you want to start a new business, a new online business, 
and you're talking to your 83 year old grandmother that's never done the internet and you're hoping for her support, it might be difficult in coming, right? And so, you know, when you are doing this, this thing with determination, be mindful that if you're pushing too hard or you're going in the wrong direction, you're not following your intuition the way Salmon does, and you're trying to manipulate outcomes, you go down a different river to take a shortcut and, you know, you get lost. So be mindful that, um, you know, this four of wands in reverse can be uprighted, right? It can be turned into a success by following your intuition, understanding if the timing is right. Salmon doesn't leave the ocean until it's ready to go lay its eggs and swim back upstream. That signifies the end of a cycle, the end of the life cycle of salmon in the ocean. Now, if it isn't time for you to walk through this door yet and you're pushing it too early, Cancer, then it's not going to come out with the results that you're hoping for. Um, if you can be mindful of your timing, then you can hold this energy in the upright position and allow for it and make space for it to come in. Because you're obviously determined and you've obviously made your choices. You know what you want. You have a genesis here. And so, you know, whatever it is, you're thinking about it. You're, you're thinking about it a lot. And, um, you know, it is, there is abundance. There is celebration. There is support. There is happiness. Earlier, and I didn't mention it, these three salmon were really sticking out to me. Um, this might, this could be a business relationship, right? This could be you and your partners, um, something of that nature and maybe you're trying to land a big deal and um, you know you're trying to close it before it's ready to be closed um, sometimes when you allow time to do what it needs to do the deal actually gets bigger and better when you allow for it to do that okay so um, not not all delays mean failure so be mindful of that. Is the delay something working for you or is the delay something that's, you know, here? You need to really dig into your instinct and your gut in the week ahead in meditation. And then also if there's been a rupture in a business relationship or a work relationship that may prevent you from moving forward, that relationship needs to be mended as well. So, I would say whatever you're moving forward with, don't let whatever quiet rupture lives there continue living there because it's a it's an energy that plugs that plugs up the situation, it plugs up the results, okay? Remember all energy lives in the field of potential until it's manifested. So now that you understand what this energy is, um, you know, you know, manage your determination. Is your determination coming across as manipulative or is it coming across as driven, motivated, and organized? Um, so, you know, just a couple things to think about. Uh, tell me more about Mullen. What is Cancer integrating in the week ahead, please? What is Cancer integrating? Does cancer integrating in the week ahead, please? And uh, I'm clarifying with the patch tarot deck. Okay, so balance coming out with a wobble. So this is the justice card in traditional tarot, and in the upright position, it is justice, and in the reversed position. It's corruption, okay? So that's where the wobble is here. That's the integration is bringing balance and justice to a situation. So definitely Comfrey's here to help heal whatever this is and to bring justice and balance to whatever situation is um, standing in the way of your success, of your four of wands, okay? So this could be having to let go of an idea, having to let go of a person, 
bring in a person that you don't want to bring in something of that nature um, but whatever it is it's going to balance and um, in fact that that's what feels right potentially bringing an outside influence into a situation that you don't want outside influence in um, that could potentially be the integration out there for some of you so that's what brings this back into balance so find where your resistance is um, just kind of if you know the situation I'm talking about, think about the players in the situation. Who's involved? Who are your stakeholders? Um, think of, you know, what are your dependencies? Do you, if you're starting a business, do you need certain computer programs? Do you need certain types of employees? Um, do you have a, an employee that you have your heart set on and maybe it's not the most popular choice? Whatever that is, um, integrating something um, that's off balance right now where there's a potential of a corruption in that, where you're in the wobble energy of a sideways card, um, bring that back. There's some truth that needs to come out here. All right, tell me more about Mullen, please. Integration. What is Cancer integrating in the week ahead? So you're integrating justice and balance. All right, yeah, King of Wands, audacious. So it's something that you're really passionate and driven about here. Um, and I believe that this is the seat of life. Um, I'm not sure with my sacred geometry on everything, but I think that's the seat of life. This is a passion project. This is, you know, maybe it's a new piece of music or a new song that you're writing or, you know, um, maybe a new book, who knows, but whatever it is, you're audacious about it. Like you're driven for it. Your emotions are under control about it. And you're following, you're following a passion and a drive that's higher than yourself. And again, with these horns, and I don't know why I'm saying again, because I haven't said anything about them, but with these horns on his helmet, this is being tapped into those greater resources the Hermit, um, the Four of Swords. It's that mind space of getting organized mentally and still being able to drive your passion and keep your emotions under control with the Water Horse. So lots of balance here in the week ahead for sure. Um, tell me more about California Poppy. What's resurrecting in the week ahead for Cancer, please? Resurrecting for Cancer. The light, something's being revealed, going from concealed to revealed. So resurrection with a King of Cups, somebody who's responsive. Um, interesting because what we have here with these two kings is, you know, we've got this king that's, you know, grounded in his emotions, um, you know, Neptune, um, with the fire in his cup. And then we have this king that's all fire with his writing his, his emotions. So um, it looks like we've got something pa emotional and passionate coming in for you um, that's resurrecting with a king energy. So... That's really beautiful. Um, giving, responsive, res reciprocal. And um, with that, um, it's probably, it's potential, well, it's obviously something from the past if it's a resurrection. Um, this card came out sideways. And so um, what that's saying is to me is that it's holding the energy of conceal right now. And um, the light will be shined on it. And then this will go upright into the revealing energy. Okay, the light will, that light right there that's just glowing at the top of the card, it's going to shower down throughout every area of your life. So this is very much a timing thing, Cancer. Um, divine timing, I would say. And then at the bottom of the deck we have a tower. So a revelation is coming. Whatever this resurrection is, it's absolutely in the concealment stage. Um, you don't know that it's coming except for maybe I've just told you that it's coming. And, um, you know, it's a revelation of some sort. So 
revelations can be good things too. So maybe it's getting the phone call, closing the deal that you're trying to close. And you know, you just, you know, I, for some reason I'm wanting to say wall street, right. And you've just, you know, they've just added another 3 million in investments on top of the 5 million that they were already going to invest. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, like this tower doesn't feel like it's a negative thing for me with this resurrection that's coming in. So um, let's find out a little bit more about your next becoming with Spring Peeper. Clarify Spring Peeper, please. What is Cancer becoming? Ooh, Cancer is becoming the magician and manifesting that. Yes. Yes. Here's one of the things that I want to say about that Four of Wands um, coming up in reverse as a failure. Now, one of the things is, is failure doesn't mean that it's the end of the road. What it means is, is that you found a way not to do it and that you can iterate again and try it in a new way. As you iterate and you adjust and you think logically and you meditate on it, harness that hermit energy and begin to embody the changes, that's when your success comes in. But if you're going to get stuck in the energy of failure here, um, that's potentially what will happen. So I'm keeping this card in the upright position because one missed opportunity isn't the end of the road. You walk through that door with the light on you. You are the light, remember? The light right there, the, the concealment to revealing and you are manifesting. So whatever your next becoming is, obviously I can't get very specific about it because um, it's gonna be different for all of you, um, but it's the power of creation, you're harnessing it. You've balanced all of the aspects in your life, the earth, the, you know, the water, the fire, um, the air, all of that. And you're harnessing that and you're creating with spring peeper. So um, that's pretty fantastic. And this resurrection is something from the past, potentially love related. Um, but whatever it is, it's not, it's not necessarily romantic love. It's something that you love. It's meaningful for you, Cancer. It brings you joy. It brings you gratitude. It fills your emotional waters. You know, it's, it fills your cups up. And, um, you know, by being able to have your cup filled, it allows you to be able to give more to cancer. So my little water baby. So you know, the six of cups here with spring peeper is to tell you that this is a state of joy and happiness for you. This, this resurrection that's coming back for you. So let's find out what will cancers benefit from surrendering in the week ahead, please. Let's put this beautiful six of cups. This is gorgeous. You've definitely got some good things happening and you've got the determination, the power and the will to do it. You understand what your wobble energy is with balance and justice. And then, um, you know, not getting stuck, staying out of stasis, or if you're in stasis with that two of discs in reverse, um, remembering that maybe it's just temporary and that being there's a healthy place to be. So understanding when you have a pause here or, or a moment of, you know, things not yet coming together, um, that change is coming. Um, divine timing is at work here. So what will my beautiful cancers benefit from surrendering in the week ahead, please? Cancers surrender. Mm, surrender unhealthy relationships, yes. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You, to, you deserve to be treasured by others 
and to be surrounded by positive people. So that burning heart there, um, that's, yeah, that's, that's somebody who potentially lights you up in a negative way, right? Unhealthy relationships. Um, the emotional waters are cool. They're comfortable, right? Um, some, I just feel like burning heart. That heart's just sticking out to me for whatever reason. Um, perhaps that's your, no, I don't feel like that's it. I don't know what the unhealthy relationship is because I don't get that whatever this resurrection is, that that's unhealthy. So this is just kind of a, I feel like that's a little bit separate from this message. Or if this is unhealthy in terms of what needs mending, um, perhaps that's walking away. Um, but I don't know, that feels like kind of a one-off message, um, different from the whole rest of the message. But it's always true, no matter what. A great message, nonetheless. Tell me more about what cancer is going to benefit from surrendering in the week ahead. Surrender resentments. Holding on to resentments only poisons you. Try to forgive others for their shortcomings and keep moving forward toward positive situations in your life. So I, you've left, I'm guessing you've left a past unhealthy relationship that you've got some resentments around that. So if this is relationship and this is not business related or it's an unhealthy business relationship, you're in your next becoming, you're manifesting with the wizard here, and you have great joy. You have a resurrection from the past, but it's not this past that you're leaving behind. Um, or you're transforming it. So, and then final card, bottom of the deck, surrender the idea you can fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Go heal yourself, my beautiful cancers. Um, Comfrey's here to help you with that. This medicine is quick healing, and it's got you in its sights. You have great things coming for you. You have Six of Cups. You have King of Cups. You have king of wands you've got the wizard you've got the light you've got such beautiful things coming um letting go of the past is um calling for you now it's releasing that letting it go and making space for what's coming in that new is coming your next becoming is here cancer go get it i love you my friends thank you for being here and i will see you next week good night